Hi everyone, my name is Nikita and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to talk about some tricks and tips or you can also call them guidelines that you should follow if you are using Zoho books for accounting. So if you are a first time user or you have been using for a really long time, this video will be really helpful for you. So stay tuned till the end of the video. I get most of these questions when I am training. So these tricks and tips will help you answer a lot of questions that you generally have in relation to Zoho and it will also help you improve your processes. So let's begin. Point number one, customers and vendors are contacts and not ledgers in Zoho books. So often you find yourself looking for ledgers for customers and vendors and passing a journal quickly to adjust some balances. You cannot do this in Zoho because customers and vendors are not ledgers but they are contacts. All the customers and vendors have their own customer statements and vendor statements which are just like ledger accounts honestly but very essential that Zoho requires you to map all your payments correctly against customers and vendors. In the short run where you are transferring a lot of balances to Zoho you might face some issues because we have that habit you know as accountants to just pass a JV and close it and close all the balances but in the long run trust me this is amazing. You don't have to sit and reconcile at the year end, you know, if my customers and vendors have correct balances. Because I'm recording payments against invoices and making payments against bills, it's very easy to keep a track. So customers and vendors are contacts which have statements. They are not ledgers that you'll find in your chart of accounts. Point number two, while preparing your chart of accounts, please do not create unnecessarily ledger accounts. So for example, now I see that a lot of times people like to create a lot of ledgers for TDS. So you have TDS payable on rent, TDS payable on commission, TDS payable on interest, TDS on professional fees. They have all these accounts in their chart of accounts. Now how Zoho works is because it's a cloud accounting software, all the accounting entries go to this common account called TDS payable wherever you're recording your TDS entry. And if you go to the reporting section, you will find the breakup between TDS on professional fees, TDS on rent, TDS on commission. So because it's a cloud accounting software, please do not use it like offline accounting software where you have a lot of accounts for TDS payable. So as a rule, try to have the least number of accounts as possible. Point number three, if you want to adjust your customer and vendor balances against each other or want to make any adjustment to your customers or vendors, use the payments received and payments made module only. You can use a transition account. This transition account could be uh, from other current liabilities or you can also use the account called undeposited funds. Use any clearing account as well, no problem. But use this transition account to adjust your customer and vendor balances. Point number four, use the transaction rules feature in the best manner possible when it comes to the banking module so that you have to spend the least amount of time in categorizing your bank entries. Of course, this said and done, you cannot have transaction rules for customer receipts and vendor payments, but you can have transaction rules for a lot of other entries. Please ensure that you're using transaction rules in the most optimum manner to save time. We are using a cloud accounting solution. As accountants, we have better things to do, so we have to save as much time as possible. Use the software to the best possible use. Point number five. Use the functionality of clone as much as possible in each module that is available. Clone is nothing but when you're copying an existing invoice, an existing bill, an existing expense, an existing journal as it is. You can just change the date and figures as you may wish. But the rest of the details the software is using on the, on the basis of the entry which is already passed. So use the clone feature as much as possible to save yourself time. Point number six, use the GST filing tab of Zoho Books. Use the e-invoicing and e-wayable feature using API. You can transfer all your all the information directly from your software to the GST portal or the e-invoicing portal or the e-wayable portal. Please ensure that you're using this effectively. In fact, if you're not using Zoho for GST filing, you can still use the summary of outward supplies report very well. So ensure that you're using this reporting section or the module of GST filing effectively to ensure that data is flowing amazingly directly from your software to the GST portal. And this happens very smoothly. So please try it. Point number seven, use the custom view function that is available in Zoho Books. It's an amazing function. It works like filter. So if you go to the invoices module and you decide that you want to filter all the invoices 
above 50,000 rupees for the organization, you can create a custom view that gives you this, this filter. So use custom view to the best way possible. So for example, in one of our clients cases, they wanted to identify in the bills module all those payments which are going to be due in the next five days. So using a custom view, we created a view for them where every day they would see invoices that would be overdue in the next five days. You can try custom view for yourself on the different modules that are available and thank me later. So in this way, you can use a lot of features of Zoho to your advantage to ensure that you're not wasting time. You're using the reporting section to your use. You're using the benefits of cloud accounting solution in the best way possible. Please don't follow the same things that you probably did in the offline softwares earlier and follow my channel for more such amazing insights on cloud accounting. This is me Nikita and I will see you in the next video.